Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and today we are doing Merluzzo Puntanesca. That's right, codfish in the style of the whore. Mm, style of the whore. Anyway, you'll read the blog and get all the info about uh, what that means and the uh, fascinating history of this dish. So we're going to start how I start a lot of these spicy pastas. A couple tablespoons of olive oil, a big chunk of uh, minced garlic, some red pepper flakes, some anchovy paste, some capers, and we're going to fry that together for a few seconds just to kind of get the raw flavor out of the garlic. But we're not going to brown it. We never do. All right, so as soon as that's sautéed for about 20-30 seconds, I'm going to add some nice dry white wine, maybe about a cup, and we're just going to bring that to uh, a simmer. All those amazing flavors start to meld together. We're going to throw in a big tablespoon or two of olive tapenade. You can also just use any chopped olives you want. All right, so puntanesca traditionally, very spicy, very highly flavored. Uh, always anchovies and hot pepper and uh, olives a lot of the time and, um, and so forth. But anyway, like I said, on the blog you read about the history. I just added some chicken stock. If you have fish stock, you can add it, but you don't have fish stock. Why would you have fish stock? So you add some water or some stock. And then I had a pound of fresh codfish. All right. Now, a lot of times this dish is made with the dried codfish known as bacala, but I had the fresh fish, so uh, I went with that. And we're not going to worry about overcooking the fish. In fact, it's going to overcook, it's going to fall apart, and we don't care. It's going to be beautiful. So we're basically just going to simmer that as long as it takes to cook the pasta, which is now draining. All right, and now we're going to add our secret ingredient, which is arugula. That's right. I know it's a lettuce. I know it's supposed to be in the salad, but arugula makes a great herb. All right, so if you chop arugula, the bitterness of the arugula with the spiciness of the puntanesca sauce is going to be amazing on this pasta with the nutty sweetness of the Parmesan, unreal, all right? So I boiled some just regular spaghetti, and you know my trick. Undercook it about a minute or by a half minute. Toss in your pasta sauce, in this case the delicious puntanesca in the style of the whore. Uh, it's true. Read the blog. Throw in a handful of Parmesan and give it a mix. Let everything get acquainted. You got time. Relax. Pour yourself a glass of wine. Get your plate ready. Throw on the lid. Let it just sit and absorb everything. And there you go. You dish it up. You grate a little more Parmesan on. You sprinkle some more red pepper flakes to make it extra, extra puntanesca. And there you go. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. It's a great meal for a cold winter night. Go to the site, get the ingredient amounts, read the fairly interesting story and history of the pasta puntanesca, and most of all, enjoy. Enjoy.